Good morning, YouTube. We've got a different plan for the day today. We're gonna go to the auction and pick up some cars. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and we are at my dealership NG Supercars and we bought some cars at auction and we're gonna go drive up to the auction. Actually, we're gonna take a bus. This was Josh's idea, not my idea. Anyway, we're gonna go take a bus up to Dallas, go pick up these cars and drive them back down. We bought two of the same car, although they're quite different, so we'll show you that. We had this new idea of let's go buy some cars at auctions, fly up or drive up in this case, and then drive them back to Austin. It's a terrible idea. That's why it's gonna be great. So in the future, we're thinking we're gonna buy cars or at least go to auctions and not have a car even bought. So we're gonna have to buy a car and otherwise we're walking home, I guess. This particular instance, we already bought the cars, but the next time we do this, we're not gonna have the cars bought. So it'll be a little bit more interesting and exciting. You guys will be able to see what we're doing, how it works, buying the stuff at auction. Although I don't think we could really film at the auction. So, you know, we'll do what we can. Maybe we'll sneak in some cell phone footage or something like that. But anyway, let's go drive up to Dallas, pick up these cars and drive them back to Austin and show you guys all about them because they're, they're actually pretty ridiculous cars. Where are we, Josh? We're on a bus. <laughs> Why? Because we're gonna go pick up some Hellcats. It was your idea to do the bus. It was. I'd rather do this than the airport. Yeah. It's the same amount of time to go to the airport and get there early and do the flight and do all that than just taking this bus to Dallas. And this is way more comfortable. So far. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see how it goes. We'll see. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Made it to Dallas and we're waiting for our Uber. I highly recommend that bus. That was it nice. Was awesome. It was really pleasant, <laughs> just peaceful. It was 10 times got tons than of airport. work done. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. Free Wi Fi, they gave you food, snacks, whatever. Now we're just getting the Uber over to Mannheim. We'll go pick up the the prizes. Yes, we have two cars that we're picking up. Uh. Alright, YouTube. Um, we might have an issue. We, we may have some, uh, we may have miscalculated a little bit. So here's our white Dodge Hellcat. Uh, red eye, no, Hellcat, jailbreak, red eye, wide body. Wow, look at that. Got a lot of words. Oh, damn. This one's really this one's nice. Super nice, brand new, pristine, still under warranty. It's got like, I don't know, 2,000 miles? 22. 22, sorry, yeah. 3,100 miles. 3,100 miles on it. This one is a 15 Hellcat, and uh, it's over 1,000 horsepower, and it's a manual. What, what, what? When I started it, I, I got really scared. It is, um, <laughs> it's got full blower surge and everything. Ridiculous. We gotta go get gas, let's go get gas, and then we'll hit the road, and then I'll tell you some thoughts on it. <laughs> it's stupid. Josh was not super comfortable with the idea of driving the crazy one. That is not 100% true. Dan got way excited about that and was like, you wanna switch? Drive. And I was like, well, I'd feel way more comfortable driving this one than that one, so I'll take that one. Yeah. I'm doing parking paperwork in the parking lot for another car deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird trip. We had a we have a guy who's trying to buy a car today, so we're trying to send all this paperwork while all this is going on. Uh, let me tell you, Mannheim Dallas was a shit show. We couldn't find the one car, it wasn't where it was supposed to be. Both the cars were missing their keys. We had to drive anyway, long story. We'll tell about it later. Uh, this thing is just <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. I will show you the details of the car once we get back to Austin. It's it's ridiculous. I don't want to even waste my breath here. Oh, I gotta go pee too. Okay, we are in the stupid one. Yes, the black one is the stupid one with a thousand horsepower and it's just... <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have way too much fun. Uh, there's some little blinky light over here. I don't know what that is. There's a white light and a red light. Sometimes it's blinking red. There's a lot of stuff we gotta learn about this car. I don't know what's going on. Just trying to figure out how to do all this stuff. Trying to get the uh, climate and nav and phone and everything. I don't think it has Android Auto. I'm kind of sad about that. Fuel economy, 11.6 average. Let's reset it and see what I get on the way home. Can you believe it? It's a manual. It's kind of weird. The, the stick comes out at an angle. It does actually look reminiscent of a Dodge Viper manual transmission lever. There's a launch control button. That'll be fun later. We'll definitely play around with that. I know there's SRT buttons. What does that do? Whoa. Yes, we have the red key and it's uh, currently saying 700 plus horsepower, but you know, that's a uh, kind of low for this car. By the way, there's like actual carbon fiber in here or sort of carbon fiber. Clutch is quite heavy. Ugh. 
up. Yes, there we go. Okay, you hear that supercharger whine like crazy. All right, YouTube, we've been in here for a good hour and a half plus. Uh, we're getting close to a rest stop. Surprisingly, I'm getting good mileage. I'm getting 17.6 miles per gallon, which, okay, good is a relative term here. Obviously, that's not excellent mileage of any sort, but for a sports car, it's not terrible, especially considering it's got a thousand horsepower. Interesting thing, I think they may have put straight cut gears in the rear differential or something like that, because it has a distinct whine sound to it. So you can hear the, the, uh, the uh, blower there. But when you let off the gas, it's like and it's speed dependent. So it's possible it's either the tires, the transmission, or the rear differential. I think it's the differential. That's just my guess. I don't know. Fill in comments below. What do you think it is? Is it just the trans or is it the tires? I mean, these, this is running, I think it's running R888. These tires are not exactly known to be quiet tires on the road. And we are on a concrete surface, not asphalt, so it is a bit of a noisier surface, but this thing is ridiculous. Uh, Josh and I did have a little bit of a race. This thing is substantially faster than the other car, and that car is not slow. So this thing is just stupid. Oh, Joy, we still have 90 miles to go. So we were going to get gas. Uh, well, we were going to stop at Bucky's and grab some food, actually. And uh, if you've never seen Bucky's, it is a Texas institution. It is a ridiculously large gas station with literally over 100 gas pumps. There's a whole bunch of them in Texas. Anyway, uh, we decided to skip it because neither of us are really hungry. And I surprisingly, we both have over, well, almost three quarters of a tank. And we only have an hour left to go. So, okay. I wanted to point out, this car actually doesn't have that much drone for how loud it is. Josh said that it basically blew out his eardrums when I drag raced him. He had his window down. That was dumb on his part. Sorry, Josh, not sorry. This is definitely a stupid car to drive. It's just ridiculous, but it's fun as hell. I have to say it's pretty fun driving a manual 1000 horsepower car. I suspect it's only a thousand horsepower if you run E85. I bet it's tuned for E85, but it's probably got the flex fuel stuff set up and all that shit. So. I bet you right now it's not running a thousand horsepower. I bet you it's probably still like 900 or something. Oh no, only 900 horsepower. What are we gonna do? Ah! It's pretty ridiculous. This thing is just so, so, so powerful. All right. Got it. Broke the tires loose there on the highway at 55. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Sound is not exactly refined. If you're looking for a very good sounding car, this is not it. It is loud and it's like a sledgehammer to the face. Yeah. It does make that really, really loud pop when you let off the gas after you give it some. It's pretty funny. It's like a boom. It takes like a moment. It's like you let off the gas and it's like a second later it goes, I like that. That is entertaining as hell. Actually surprisingly comfortable. Now the seats are definitely set up for more of drag racing and I hate to say it, but big ass Americans because the bolsters are not hugging me and I'm not a small guy. I feel like if I took it on a track day, which I don't know if you'd really want to, but you could, you kind of slide all over the place. That's okay though. Like I said, it's like sitting on a lazy boy. The seats are extremely comfortable. I have zero ass fatigue in this car and I've been in it for over two hours now. In fact, I even still have my wallet in my rear pocket. And usually I have to take that out and set it somewhere else. Otherwise my like button goes numb, you know? Like if you drive some of the thin seat cars, you're, you can't leave the wallet back there. It's just like, ah. Oh. The ride quality is very smooth. It is a squishy kind of drag car setup. It's not real, real tight. You know, you can definitely feel it kind of flopping around a little. I don't know that I'd really want to take this on a back road going through all the twisties, but this definitely brings me to my drag racing routes. I have enjoyed driving this car already, and we will definitely have to do some nefarious activities, and the rear, the rear tires just need to get disintegrated. We will make that happen. So yes, there will be burnouts galore coming up. All right, YouTube, other than the sun in my face, we are onto the surface roads. We will uh, have to see what this thing can do. Let's find some straight roads. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit, this thing's an animal. <laughs> oh, this thing's just stupid. Oh, we're gonna have some dumb fun with this thing. I have to say, this might be one of the most manly cars ever. 1,000 horsepower, manual transmission, heavy as hell, hand handles like crap, but goes extraordinarily fast in a straight line. This is like America to the nth degree. Another thing I noticed that Dodge should not have done is they put the traction control button right there in the center of the console, like super easy to hit. They should have made it like hidden under the dash. You know, you gotta remove a panel, like hit a switch, push the button, put in a code, something stupid so that dumb kids don't get in these cars, push that button and end up in the ditch. These things are definitely way too much power for people who have not driven something fast before. It is extraordinarily fast. Can you get a chance like this evening? Just take a look at it. Tell me what you think, but tell me what your thoughts are, okay? Okay. But well, please look at it, okay? Because I, I, need, I need your opinion on this. What are you driving? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds badass. What is that? The GT3? No, this is the uh, 1,000 horsepower Hellcat. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that is a supercharger. I'm like, I knew it was. <laughs> badass. <laughs> Alright, well, don't kill yourself. <laughs> Alright, man. We'll talk later. Alright, buddy. Alright, bye. Bye. Eventually. We made it to the stop, and I just had it. You gotta hear this exhaust. It's just stupid. What's that? I can feel that in my chest. This, this thing's an animal. Absolute animal. I, I kind of like this thing a lot. I was telling myself Dan's got to be having the time of his life driving this back. <laughs> it's, it's just so stupid. It makes no sense that whatsoever. That one's pretty fun too, but this one's probably more fun. Were you on the floor? Yeah. Right? Wow. This was pulling, pulling on that one. That hard? Yeah. Holy shit, it was like not even close. And that's a fast car. That's 807 horsepower. <laughs> this one's supposedly about a thousand. All right, that we're gonna- squirrely as shit too when you get on it. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. Oh, this <laughs> one's not too bad on the highway. Those we have better tires. Yeah, bigger, better tires. Well, we're gonna have to play around with these some. <laughs> Stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe.